night. Top of the morning, folks. You may not be able to see me that good, but it is 4.39. 4.39, I just got up, took a shower last night. Oh, woke up a little early, got dressed, got about a 30 minute ride this morning to where I'm gonna launch for practice. Here at Sturgeon Bay, Door County. Been hearing about this place forever, man. World renowned fishery for smallmouth, we all know that. A lot of strategies gonna play this week. A lot of big water, could be very dangerous as far as navigation goes. So I'll be really, really smart as far as how I go about scouting this place. So we're headed out this morning. The plan is to stick with smallmouth all day today. Okay, then we got tomorrow, I'll make a decision tonight when I get in from today if I'll even entertain the idea of largemouth or not, which in a typical five fish tournament would never even be a question. 100% you'd be fishing for smallmouth. But in a major league fishing format, there's so much strategy that comes into play. So a guy could locate a school or an area that has a lot of largemouth in it, shallow, and potentially catch you know 20 plus scoreable bass two pounds and larger. So that changes the game. That brings a whole new dynamic. So you can't turn a blind eye to that either. But I love fishing for smallmouth, so I'm gonna try to make that work personally. If I can generate enough bites on that, I'll never once run shallow. So anywho, I'm headed out to the truck. It's time to go see if we can catch some Door County smallmouth. Peace. All right, guys, we just launched the boat. Getting ready to head out, man. What a relief this is. You see, I got a hoodie on. I left Alabama, it was 90 degrees. Super humid, super hot. But now we got a little bit of chill temp. Super beautiful morning up here in Wisconsin. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. The bay is looking real big and intimidating right now. I mean, there is nothing but water far as the eye could see. And they're calling for a little bit of wind on tournament day, so. I don't know, it's gonna be very interesting. I'll tell you what, we are gonna be very, very safe. I ain't gonna do nothing crazy, I promise you that. First time here at Sturgeon Bay, and like all these great lakes and places we go that are wide open, like your Champlains, St. Clair's, Erie's, places like that, can get very dangerous. And so I'm always super cautious when I'm out messing around these type of places, so, yeah. Day. Not a bad one. Any guesses what she bit? It's one of my favorite baits. Hold on. Come on, buddy. Got him. Ooh, what, a, what a beauty. Look at that. It's my first bite out here on Sturgeon's Bay. Take a peek in her throat. Green pumpkin goby. TRD, one of my favorite baits for smallmouth fishing. It's actually the bait that I won Lake Oahe on. These fish gotta be two pounds here. And that fish is every bit of, I'm gonna say three pounds. Of course, you know, we gotta get the official weight on her. This fish weighs three pounds, four ounces, three, three. Not a bad one. All right, this is my third bite. Every single fish has been over two pounds. I caught a three, four. I caught a two, 10. And now I'm hooked up on another one that's about three and a half pounds. So now I'm cutting the hook off. No more, we don't need to catch any more. They all look like this right here for the most part and bigger. Now this one's probably two and three quarter. Come here, buddy. Oh, chill out. I got you. 
just like that. Old Ned rig. It don't ever fail. This is probably, I mean, it's, uh, I'm torn between this and a finesse worms on my number one favorite smallmouth bait. I know a lot of guys like tubes and things like that, but that's really close to three pounds, if not three pounds. I'm gonna get her back. I'm cutting my hook off. I don't need to see no more. As fun as that is, boy. Gosh, Lee, I wanna just keep catching them. None of them are under two pounds. So there's no point in just keep catching them. You're only hurting yourself at that point. But I'd have to imagine there's several fish out here, hundreds of them probably. I don't know. There's a, there's enough. One thing I do know about smallmouth, they do not like to be alone. So generally when you find them, I mean, you found a, a bunch of them. So there's a little island right here. I don't know if you guys can see that out in the distance. A bunch of seagulls floating around, but there's all sort of rocky reefs and shoals that come off this island. And I've checked three, and on each one I've stopped, I've gotten bit. Um, and I've seen other fish, I've idled over them, I've, I've marked them down there, so they're definitely using this stuff. That last one right there, I saw him on live scope, and then I just, like always, I just pitched right over to where I thought I saw my the fish. I saw my TRD falling down and I saw something come up off the bottom to it and then it started following it down. By the time I clicked my bell over, it was just heavy, just pulling like, mm, mm. and I was like, yeah, I know what that is. Popped him, big old small mouth, beautiful. Man, this is fun. Hopefully the wind don't blow us out though. This is a place that's very susceptible to wind. I mean, you can see how it's rocking and rolling right now and I'm just sitting sitting right here I mean, it's, it's getting really good probably about four miles off the shoreline there but we're out here pretty good I think there's a charter boat out there maybe a guy boat or something but plenty of fish out here plenty of fish having some issues again with my batteries but I just ran into my boy Matt Lee I don't know if you can see him over there but anyways he just gave me a lead acid battery that I'm gonna swap out this lithium battery for to keep you know continue my day and so that's why i run three 12 volts as opposed to 136 because when that 36 goes out you kind of dead in the water i'm dead in the water right now but when i put this lead acid in there i should be able to run around and finish up my day maybe even my week at least to get me back to the dock to figure out what i got going so we can get it fixed so shout out my boy matt lee appreciate you big dog all right guys as you can see got crazy rough out here and uh, it just makes it really hard to get anything accomplished out here as far as practicing goes so what I think I'm gonna do is put it on a trailer go to another side of the lake where the wind direction is not hitting it nearly as bad and I can at least fish a little bit right now she big All right, gang, it is tournament morning. We just launched and uh, getting ready to get our rods out. We've got a 45 minute ride around period. Now let me talk to you guys about something really, really cool and that's different from any other tournament trail. And this is one of the reasons I really enjoy Major League Fishing. Um, we have a trailering policy. So we're out here on Sturgeon Bay in Lake Michigan. We all know how huge the waves get on places like this. So Major League Fishing has implemented a rule where you can trailer and launch wherever you want. It just has to be a public launch ramp. So I'm launching, I'm here at Egg Harbor, um, get, you know, getting ready to get after it. And uh, that's just really cool, man, because safety has always been a big issue. A lot of times in these tournament trails, you can't even go out fishing that day. They get canceled because of the weather. But if you could trailer wherever you want to, totally changes the game. So we're here at Egg Harbor, which is probably about 30 miles up the peninsula from where takeoff would have been and there's no way when the wind blows i'm running 30 miles and five six seven eight footers just not happening so we're here got my main man mr mike 
with me as my boat official today. The goal for today, mucho grande smallmouth. I kind of don't know how you say that in Spanish. But yeah, a lot of big brown smallies is the plan. So, appreciate y'all checking me out. I need to clear all that water off like that. Ready to go. Matched up. Mask off. Let's catch them. All right, guys, we made it to our first area. And, boy, it's been a challenging week for me on a lot of levels. But um, we're here, and I had some technical difficulties. But thank God I got on the phone with the service crew and got them somewhat fixed. Not all the way fixed, but a little bit fixed. So, no technical difficulties as of now. We're going to be good to fish. Boy, it's been challenging, man. <laughs> we going to make it work. Oh, and then, uh, so we got Timmy Horton out here. He's found the same school of fish, not even school, but group of fish that I found. We talked this morning. This is what's cool, man. You pull up and you see somebody fishing. You never just pull in and start casting. You always want to try to have a conversation. It alleviates all the problems. So we talked about it. Everything's all good. We're going to catch these bass is what we about to do. Y'all stay tuned. Thank you, baby. Get right there, please. Barely got you, boss. Thank you, baby. All right, give me one second. Wow. Right now. Two pounds, ten ounces. Three pounds. All right. Thank you. Thank you, fish. I was having a whole nother problem.
All right, guys, end of period one. Uh, man, we had to battle some adversity, man. We definitely did, but we kept our hand in the game. And uh, I think we managed to catch six scoreable bass in that period. Um, we, need them, we need them more frequently and, and big. But it's just the bay fishing, man. A lot of the fish are quality, you know. Uh, so it's just a matter of getting bit. So I'm just gonna re-rig a couple rods here, get situated, and uh, get ready for period two. Y'all stay tuned. Oh, bacon. Dude, that looked like that one I had earlier that I lost. Yes. There we go, baby. Gosh, Lee, that's the right kind right there, boy. Woo-wee. Yes, sir. That's a ding for show sure enough. Four pounds. Nine ounces. Four nine. Four nine, baby. Biggin', yes. Oh, I swear that looked like the one I had earlier. Goodness gracious. Man, that was a long time coming. We needed that. Two thirteen. Called it. He's bigger than that, but he big enough. Boy, he's pulling like he is a hundred pounds. Three pounds, one out. Three one. Jeez, I thought he was bigger. I thought he was a bigger boss, but I like him. Give me a three pounds. Oh. Little.
perfect. Thank you, buddy. You just did me a goodness gracious, bro. Noticing something here I ain't seen nowhere else. There's a lot of bait here. What is the primary bait here? Uh, gobies and um, they got some other sort of bait fish too. Yellow perch, gobies, yellow perch, crawfish. No, nah, they're just picking it up real soft, man. It's not a good... The only ones I'm feeling, really, are the ones that I get right on top of and drop on. And I think that's just because the line's so... You know, it's right underneath the boat. But it's they, all the bites, for the most part, just been like weight. guys we just wrapped up day number one and we caught ourselves i think 41 pounds which has us just barely inside the 20 cut 40 pounds unbelievable so it might take like close to 80 pounds to make the cut that's just hard to believe but this place is that good i think justin lucas caught 140 pounds today yeah i did not misspeak 140 something pounds <laughs> good god almighty obviously leading so we got our work cut out but we're gonna get it together we gotta catch some bigs we gotta catch a lot of them cut them all all right wrapped up tackle and everything else i'm in will's tonka truck so i'm finna hop down look oh god I'm about to kill myself you're gonna grab a bite to eat what you about to tell me, Willis? No. Can't tell me right now? I can't tell you. Top oh, secret. Willis can't tell me right Top now. Top secret. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, you got, hey, hey, we can't be putting all our lives on. Yeah,